Hello everybody and welcome to the Magic 9 channel. Today I'm going to be working on a fun little concept here. So since it's Halloween, well it's not Halloween just yet, but since it's the month of October and it'll be Halloween sooner than we think, I figured why not start off the month by dressing up. So I decided to make a concept of myself as a magical girl which is something that I've always wanted to do because you know doesn't everybody want to be a magical girl like seriously even the guys don't deny it boys you know you want to be a magical girl too <laughs> so anywho so yes I wanted to draw myself as a magical girl so I used a handful of my personal interests to kind of influence the design. Uh, some of the main things I went with is that I like to inline skate, I love coloring and light and or making things very colorful and very bright. I love stars, I love outer space. and. I like I like windy weather I know that sounds really strange but I like I like a gentle breeze throughout the day it's just very nice gentle breeze and the nice open sky it's just like really nice so yeah so those are the handful of things that kind of inspired well definitely inspired my magical girl outfit so from there I decided, okay, well, what kind of powers, based on everything that I came up with, what kind of powers would my magical girl have? And first thing that came to my mind, well, since I like space so much, why not give her gravity powers? And so I went with gravity powers and invisibility well light based powers so gravity and light based powers so basically she can shoot laser beams and she can also turn invisible no that's a it's one of those like random abilities no oh, and she can turn invisible but in, you know you never know when that can come in handy so <laughs> might as well Basically, the idea I was thinking of was, well, somehow maybe she got her magical powers by wishing on a star, and that star gave her magical powers. Woo! If I were my magical girl self, I would be gifted powers through wishing on a star. I mean, I wasn't necessarily wishing for magical girl powers but I was wishing for something with all that thought of then I was kind of thinking more on it and I said oh well what would my limitations be what would what would be the difficult parts of my abilities well first thing that came to my mind is since I wish on a star and gain those magical powers I figured well they probably work really good at during the night but not so much during the day and then on top of that my magical girls powers would be probably stronger during certain phases of the moon so when the moon's closer it she becomes stronger and if it's further away or if it's not visible like a new moon for example she's basically weak as all get out my magical girl's outfit I wanted my magical girl to look like she was from outer space and make it a look a little futuristic but very magical girl at the same time so her outfit has a lot of stars in it and more stars and more stars 
and then there are certain sections of the outfit where she has these rings and I was thinking like the rings of a planet so she since she has gravity abilities I figured oh well she can have like a miniature orbit when she transforms into her magical girl outfit so she's got rings and her little sash is the is the same thing it it's connected by rings I change it later on I decided to change it up but her sash is also connected by rings that are floating around her arms so yeah she's like a miniature planet like a little asteroid that's got a little orbit for planets yay and then Honestly, I struggled, I will say, the concept that I had for these scarves in my head was awesome. Like, the way it connected to the outfit was just really cool. But let me tell you, I struggled on the scarf, like, no, tomorrow. Like, this is, there's multiple attempts of me trying to make this scarf. And I almost got rid of it at one point almost but I was like no I want to keep it the scarf makes me look like a cool magical cool futuristic magical girl <laughs> so I was determined to find a way to keep it and then for the boots I also well I wanted them to kind of look like my inlines a little bit so I I have a set, I have a few sets of wheels that light up, and so I was like, I have to have this for my Magical Girl outfit too. So, hence why the wheels, well, one, they float, and two, they light up, so, but I had to pay homage to my skating shenanigans because I like to skate. Point blank. <laughs> so... But yet, you can see now that I'm starting to change up the stash and finally come to an agreement on how I want this darn stash. And then, there was my magical weapon. Well, magical weapon 1.1, 1.5, I, I don't know. It, it, this took me a hot minute because I... I want it, it, I want it my weapon to be an umbrella. And I know, I know that sounds absolutely crazy. Janisha, why, why would you want your magical girl weapon slash wand to be an umbrella? Well, remember how I said I like windy weather? I, you know, this honestly stems from when I was like a little kid. And so as a kid, I would usually take an umbrella outside and like just hold on to it for dear life as the wind kind of tugged at my arm. So, yes, I pay homage to my umbrella shenanigans. But, no, on the other, on the opposite end of it, I figured it would be the best tool to have in line with my magical girl's powers because she uses gravity and she projects light, the laser beams, invisibility, and so I figured it would be, be really cool, you know, at the swing of a umbrella that she could project light and so forth, and when she floats, she has it at her disposal. Yeah. So, just a fun little magical girl weapon. This also, the umbrella also took me a little bit because I decided to change up the overall look of the umbrella. I had the, I had it very pointy at the bottom because I saw an umbrella that I was inspired by and I was like, oh, let's use this. And then, no, I didn't like it afterwards. So I said, okay, just let's make it a regular umbrella. And that way too, when I'm being normal me, and I'm carrying this umbrella and people don't go, oh, that umbrella looks sure suspicious. <laughs> so, 
you know, gotta think about these things. Gotta look like a typical umbrella. Overall, this was a lot of fun. I... I think, like I said, this is just one of those things that everybody has or will one day imagine themselves being a magical girl because it's cool. It's like, oh cool, it's like I have powers, I'm gonna go save the day. Speaking of saving the day, what would I be saving the day for? Mm, I would think, hmm, other falling stars. I know that sounds strange, but not all of them are wishing friendly and maybe they're like monsters or something like that. And they show up from time to time and she has to fight them. Sometimes during the night and sometimes during the day. So making all the battles all the more difficult. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think it would be fun to be a magical girl? And what would your magical girl powers be? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear other people's magical girl, magical girl and or boy stories. So I'm all ears. And also, don't forget about weekly magic. Hashtag weekly magic. Hashtag weekly magic is in its fifth week, officially. I'm counting now. Hashtag weekly magic is in its fifth week. And if you don't know what hashtag weekly magic is, I basically make a set of eight color palettes for you to use in whatever kind of art that you feel like creating and I do this every week for you guys and they have fun little names so for example this week's hashtag weekly magic color palette set is called 90s kid part 2 I know we have 90s kids already there's a part 2 because that's a typical thing in the 90s is that there was always a part 2 movies but yes, be excited for that as well. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this magical girl journey of mine. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell for notifications for me. I update once a week every Sunday currently. So once a week every Sunday you will see a new video from me. And I will fight all the magical girls to make sure it's up. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a magical day, and I will see you in the next video.